called Poetic Justice. That moment in the movies when the villain finally gets what's coming to them and the audience erupts in cheers. We can see this even in films that are made for little children, that the villain at the end of the movie dies. We can see it in Disney movies, for example, movies like Snow White when the evil queen finally dies, or, or Sleeping Beauty, the witch Maleficent turns into a dragon and dies. More recently, Ursula in The Little Mermaid, or Scar in The Lion King. The villain gets what's coming to them, they die. Everyone's supposed to cheer and be happy that finally this great threat, this great enemy has been defeated. But God says that's not the way he thinks. In fact, in his word today, he tells us just the opposite. He says, I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the sovereign Lord. So what is it then? What is it that makes God happy? You know, it's commonly said in our world today that God loves you and wants you to be happy. And while we accept that the first of that is absolutely true, God loves you. He sent his son to die for you. Where is it written that God wants you to be happy? Maybe it would be worth taking a look at what makes God happy first. What does he take pleasure in? He says, repent and live. You know, it's interesting that he says that, repent, change, turn around, and switch courses. It's more interesting because people so often use that God loves you and wants you to be happy as a proof to say, I don't need to change. But God loves you so much, he's not going to let you stay the way you are. He tells you to repent, to change, to stop the sinful actions that we've had. So we change, we repent, we come day in and day out, we go to God and admit we haven't done what he wanted. And God makes us a gracious promise, promise right then, right there. He says, repent and live. That it is through God and his love, it is through his mercy that when we repent, when we return to God and trust in his forgiveness, then we live. See, it isn't, it isn't true that God just wants you to be happy for this life. God wants you to be happy forever. He wants you to be happy in heaven. So maybe we don't worry about whether we're on the right side of history with the way we talk about God, but whether we're on the right side of God and the right side of eternity. Maybe we don't cheer when our opponents, whether political opponents or enemies in the world, die. There's one person you're allowed to hate, and that's the devil. God sent him to hell. God does not take pleasure in sending anyone else to hell. He wants you in heaven. So repent, change, and live. Thanks for joining me as we prepare for this week's coming sermon. I pray that hearing about Jesus and God's love for us in Jesus gives you strength during your week. If you found it helpful for you, we'd like to get this news to more and more people. If you like or subscribe, that can be helpful for us to get this news to more and more people. God's blessings to you on your week. Amen.